the next e example I wanted to show was uh, uh, was about an automotive component. As I said earlier, Novellis uh, supplies uh, flat rolled aluminum sheets to the automotive market, um, and uh, and in in the automotive mark uh, for automotive applications, crash is is one of the one of the most important applications where where aluminum is used. And here we were trying to design a axial crush uh, component as shown in the um, in the picture here where my mouse where I'm showing uh, where my mouse is indicating. So the question we what we want is during a crash event we want this crash uh, this uh, this crash member to to actually crush and fold in a in a, in a in a known way. Uh, like the like the good case here, and not in the bad, not like in the bad case here, where the where the column uh, buckles. So the question then was that how do we design this um, uh, this actual um, uh, crash member? So what should be the height and width and thickness of the sheet? And these were and then there was of course being a metal supplier, what are the material properties? So here are several uh, parameters that we need to fit. For the material, we had to fit these various parameters, alpha, k, a, b, and n. And, and then for the geometry of the, of the actual crush member, we had to uh, find the width, height, and, and thickness of the, of the crush member. That would give us the highest load factor. Now, if we were to run um, um, run these computations uh, to find the the maxima, then we would probably end up running forty five. Uh, I mean, running finite element simulation for the next forty five years. I mean, depending on what we were doing, anywhere between one to forty five years. I mean, even one year is is unacceptable. So, so once again, here we we actually used uh, SIGOP, and here we, here we compared with. Uh, uh, with LS Dyna's optimization tool LS Opt, uh, where you can see that that Sigopt helped us design uh, come up with a better design that would give us a better load factor, and the number of computations was uh, was an order of magnitude lower than what what LS Opt had uh, had made us run. So so here is another example where where Bayesian optimization and Sigopt specifically helped us reduce the number of computations.